Good morning, y'all. It's time to do our fall update. It's been one heck of a growing season. So let's walk through these trees real quick and give you an update what's been going on. This is my 942 rootstock. It's kind of grown kind of crazy. And I have one fruit that's starting to turn. I'm so excited to get some seeds and try the 942 fruit. This is another big one. It bloomed, it dropped. It's no big deal, it's its first year blooming. See how it goes. Got some of my figs, did it okay. Some root stock that's just growing. Let me graph that probably in February to March so we can have a good training on that. Here's my black Pakistan mulberry. Crazy thing, decided to put on some more fruit late and see how those ripen out. One of my mandarin trees, loaded with fruit and they're starting to turn color. I'm so excited. Who says fall doesn't have beautiful colors? This is my version of beautiful colors. So exciting. My Parfianca pomegranate. It gave me some good fruit. Now it's starting to go dormant. This is my black pomegranate. I got it in January. It was just a little eight inch whip. But now it is just as tall as my Parfianca. Let's get down to my variegated kumquat. And it is just loaded with fruit. Give me a couple more months and this will be beautiful and tasty. My rooted cuttings are still alive. Doing awesome. And here is my orange frost. Looking a little haggard, but doing great. It got beat up with the Texas sun and it is just loaded with mandarins everywhere. It's still green. It's a little early for it to start turning, but it is right around the corner. My blood morrow. Got a couple fruit on it. It's had two years of pain, as in branches falling off other trees, breaking it, but it's doing okay. Now let's talk about my Ponderosa. I've pruned it, and it has rewarded me with lots of... Ponderosa lemons. A new one there that just came out. It's doing great. I'm so happy with this tree. Let's go down the ways here a little bit. My white Madeira fig. It gave me some fruit. Now it's just still growing because it's a little chilly for Texas. Right now I think it's what 55 degrees in the morning. And next week we'll be back in the 80s. I think we're only supposed to be 70 today. And here is my variegated tiger. It is growing nicely. Here is my red lime. It is covered with multiple fruits. And hey... I got kind of lazy and I didn't spray my trees for sunburn. And that's what sunburn looks like. Let me get out of the sun and see that leaf right there. That's not nutrients deficiency, that's sunburn. Here's my variegated calamondin. This thing's just a beast. Constantly putting out fruit, new growth. Got some baby fruitlets growing. It just bloomed again, so there's some baby Kalamanas, but you're not gonna be able to see them. Now here is what fall colors look like to me. This is my mandarin tree, five in one. Got pixie, kishu, um, pokan right here, variegated mineola, and a couple others. This is my daughter's Karakara. It was really small, haggard, and through good pruning we talked about in prior videos, it is bushing out beautifully, and I'm so happy with this. And it even has one Karakara there, 
Another on the back side. And his joint's so awesome. And there again, that's what you get the leaf out, what sunburn looks like. Once again, I got lazy with my new work schedule and some leaves are kind of beat up. Another beast of mine is my variegated pink Eureka lemon. It has six fruit on there. With the cooler temperatures coming and the sun, they'll be turning colors. And I'll be getting ready to harvest fruit on it. It is doing beautiful. Lots of, I did spring pruning, summer pruning. And when I harvest, I do a little bit of pruning. Oh, look. That's even decided to bloom again in spots. I love it. Here's my variegated flying dragon. This was such a baby when I got it. It don't grow fast, but it's doing awesome. Even getting more new growth down there. I love it. And my diva. Here she is. She looked like trash back in March. And now she's doing so good. She's filled out lush remember a good fertilization consistent watering pruning and she's giving me three lemons here a baby one here i know there's one somewhere other else but they're hard to see in the dark or in the shade and she's blooming again these things are such such prolific trees especially when you can take care of them properly so that was just a quick fall update walkthrough. These trees are doing awesome. If you follow these tips through all the videos that I provide, you'll be able to have abundant harvests yourself too. Hey, like this video. If this is your first time here, consider a sub. And then I'll see you on the winter harvest and maybe even a winter update. Drop in the comments if you like these quick little videos on showing a, pro a progress through the entire season. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one.